everyone. Welcome back to another Artist Spotlight with Clay County Historical and Arts Council. My name is Tess Thomas, and today we're at the Old Jail Museum just off the square of Hayesville. Today we're with Susie Delorier. Susie, thank you so much for being here. It's my pleasure. Susie does these beautiful watercolor paintings you see behind us. She's going to be one of our two featured artists this year at the Old Jail Museum on our season opener for 2023. But I'd like to ask a few questions, Susie. How long have you been in the area? I've been here since 1988. Wow, you've been here for quite a while then, yeah. Uh -huh. And then, um, when did you start painting these wonderful watercolors? I've been painting almost all my life, but the emphasis on watercolors has been uh, the past 40 years, I guess. Wow, yeah. so was there a progression? Did you start with like ceramics and go to China painting, and then or has it always <laughs> been um, it's, canvas? It, it, I, I, I like a variety of forms of art, but uh, my favorite, of course, has always been painting. So, right, yeah. that's fantastic. Um, how did you hear about TCHAC? Uh, I have a good friend, uh, Reba Beck, and we've been friends. We worked together at Penton Road Life Center right out of college. So, Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah. Everyone loves Miss Reba, right? She's wonderful. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to say here that uh, not only will you be one of our two featured art artists this year at the Old Jail Museum, but if you'd like to get in touch with Susie regarding something you've seen in the photos or the video or at the museum opening, you can email her at suzydelorier at gmail.com. I'm going to spell that for you. S-U-Z-Y-D-E-S-L-A-U-R-I-E-R-S. suzydelorier at gmail.com. We're going to pause here and I'm going to show you a couple of her beautiful watercolor paintings and let her tell us a little bit about them. So stay by. Susie, could you tell us about this watercolor over your left shoulder? Right. Uh, this is a, a painting that, of one of my favorite places, which is the Nanahala Gorge. And I spent a couple of years just following, doing rock paintings and water paintings from this area. And uh, it's a particular passion of mine. So I love painting rocks, trees, water. Um, and here's some examples of those things. I see also that way up in the, in the top of the rocks, there is a fly fisherman in that picture. Was there a model for that? Or is that just someone you saw fly fishing while you were there? It was, they, they, every once in a while, there's a fly, fly fishing group that um, sort of goes up the Nanahala Gorge uh, toward Aquam up in that area. And I like to go in when I know they're up there fishing. I like to go in and get pictures of them. So, oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, it, it's, it's pretty exciting. Let's to zoom in fish. a little bit in there and hmm? see. We can okay. show you. Just breathtaking the colors. And it's that glow. I love the glow of lighting the background. It's almost angelic or ethereal. Well, let's just move over to the next painting we're going to talk about of Susie's. Okay, Susie, can you tell us about this collage? I understand there's quite a cute story that goes with it. <laughs> a friend of mine, Sally Blankenship, and I were preparing for a class at the folk school on uh, creating your own watercolor inks. And uh, also part of that process, part of what we were doing was some bioprinting. And so we had done several prints on paper of different leaves and plants that we found around around uh, August, I think, of last year. And uh, her dog got in the picture and decided <laughs> that there were two that she was just going to chew up. And uh, her name's Gracie. And so Gracie got a hold of two of them. And then her, um, my friend Sally decided she was just going to put those in the trash. Well, they were all in pieces, but I thought, no, let's pull those out and let's see what we can make with it. Right, so, wonderful. This collage is called Gracie's Collage. For um, the puppy that got the... With the name of the dog. <laughs> oh, and I understand we may be graced with Gracie's present. She might be. At the yeah, grand opening. At the opening on the 27th, so... All right. And speaking of that, I will talk to you a little bit more about that in just a moment. Susie, what can you tell us about this painting? Uh, this is an homage to a lot of the wonderful old trucks that you'll see tucked away in the mountains. Uh, it's 
it's sort of a fun thing to do. I think painting rust is fun. And then the mountains and the trees behind them. Uh, I think a lot of people ask me, could you really find a truck for $100 like that? I'd like to know where you found that. <laughs> Well, probably back in the day, maybe not so much now. Not so I noticed much there was now. a difference in price between 700 and 100 and 150. I, it might have to do with the engine quality. Right? So that's but, amazing, though. Right. I love the use of color and the, just the, the landscape behind it and the purples and the blues. It's just always. Right. So I got, uh, I'm using sort of uh, the color wheel here and just flowing through the color oh, wheel. Oh, right. Letting Beautiful. all the paint flow. Yeah, so it's a wonderful transition. Thank you. So I want to thank Susie for having us today and letting us come and talk to her about her beautiful paintings. I want to remind you all that um, plans are being made for the opening of the Old Joe Museum on May 5th. We'll be open Fridays and Saturdays during the month of May from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's only Fridays and Saturdays. And then the grand opening is scheduled for Saturday, May 27th from 12 to 2 p.m. And we will have uh, Susie's artwork and also um, carvings from Fred Moffat who you will see that artist spotlight from his daughter uh, soon after the 26th of April when we record that one but I want to invite you all to come to our grand opening for sure on the 27th of May from 12 to 2 and again if you'd like to get in touch with Susie to purchase any of her paintings it's susiedelorier at gmail.com thank you again for joining us and we'll see you at the next artist spotlight bye 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 <laughs>